everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. This video is a candle haul and one body care item of Yankee Bath and Body Works and Kringle Candles. Um, so let's get started. I, uh, I had no intentions. I had, I have heard of Kringle Candle, but I had no intentions of ever buying any of them and getting addicted to another candle company because I have several hundred and not 100 or 200, several hundred <laughs> candles from Bath & Body Works and about mm, maybe 35, 36 from Goose Creek. And I don't have the room or want to fall in love with a new candle company. But, but after a lot of thinking and um, I guess just taking a chance, I bought three of the Kringle Halloween candles on August 5th, you know, when they dropped at midnight and we're supposed to get early access and it didn't happen kind of thing. But this is my very first experience with Kringle. And so I have really nothing to compare it to other than a lot of reviews that I read on Facebook and of course on the website and just learning. I mean, I, I know that it is the original founder of Yankee Candle. I, I mean, I know all that stuff, but just in terms of the, the candle, the performance and such, I'm not really um, too educated on it, but these are my first three that I bought and I wanted to get one more, but Sleepy Hollow, it jumped out of my cart when I was in checkout. So I thought, you know, I'm only supposed to get three. So I'm going to start with um, the one that I, I, I love all of these, but in my order from my least loved to best loved, this is what I'm going to say. Graveyard Night. Look at that pumpkin. I love that pumpkin. And this candle is huge. I had no idea the size of these because, you know, looking at something online, it can't really gauge like how big is that jar? You know, what's the circumference of it and the height and all that stuff. And I just, these are huge. Like, you know, this is right next to my head and, and this is the palm of my hand, my fingers. This is a large candle. Um, and I'm very impressed. These came perfectly packaged. They were delivered on time. You know, they, they're very, um, they know what they're doing. So the notes for graveyard night, and I've had these, I've had these candles since Tuesday and I haven't been able to do a, a video for these because I knew that I wanted to, I wanted to wait for my Yankees to get here today. And then I grabbed a few from the 1295 Bath and Body Works sale that's going on right now. And I have some coming in the mail that are online exclusives, but maybe I'll do that when they get here. But the notes, and you know, just taking just taking the lid off and having it sit here, it's wafting up into my nose. This so these are I know these are freshly poured and they're going to take on a new identity once they're fully cured. But the notes, um, there's lots of writing here for between the Yankee candles and the and the Kringles. I felt like I was in college again, taking notes and trying to make everything fit. <laughs> to the section on the page or whatever you're you're doing there's years ago okay graveyard night is what we're talking about top notes are are ooh, it's late at night excuse me caramel fruity bayberry and star anise mid notes are pumpkin clove and cinnamon and finally the bottom sweet milk musk and powdery. So right now, what I'm getting is pumpkin with a little bit of caramel. Basically, I'm not I'm not getting all of these fine tuned bayberry, star anise, even clove, musk. I'm not getting all that because I I think a lot of that has to come out on warm. And of course, I've never burned a Kringle candle in my life, so I don't know. If that's true or not, I just, I hope that is because I want to be able to enjoy all of the splendor that's in these. But this one, why I say it's my least favorite is a, these two other two that I have. They're just, they just invoke a memory in me and just a smell that um, you, you'll see when I, when I get to them. But this one, I, I like it. It, the, I wanted Sleepy Hollow. It was another pumpkin one. And I, I actually... 
had put Sleepy Hollow in my cart instead of Graveyard Night, but then, you know, it wasn't meant to be, so I put Graveyard Night in here. But I like this one. I'm anxious to see, you know, when October is here and it's spooky month, I'm going to get this puppy going. It should be nice and cured by then. Um, I really like this for my decor. I do ghosts and I I um, put a couple of pumpkins on my porch but I will tell you I've never carved a pumpkin in my life that was on the list of it's too messy and I need to clean up a kid in the, in my childhood so I've never carved a pumpkin yes I know it's sad but I just wasn't allowed to and um, so yeah I'm gonna get my carved pumpkin here on this jar for my my decor because I I don't think I want to carve a pumpkin, honestly. <laughs> okay, the second one I got that is in the, my my mid-loved order is Witching Hour. And I'm going to take the lid off of here and I can talk about it. Witching Hour is, this is a, there we go. This is, you know, the cream-colored wax here. This is a unique one too, but I love it because it's so earthy. This one, dried berries, earthy spices, absolutely earthy spices. Jasmine, blue cypress, violet leaf. Smoky, definitely smoky. Moss, sandalwood, and tonka bean. I love tonka bean. This one, is it earthy lover's friend right here it really really is i'm very this is perfect for a rainy night or that you know the just that cold damp weather I, I mean i live in utah so the dampness that i'm used to from living in the east is not here in the fall time but i can imagine it you know and this oh it's just makes me think of sweatshirts and sweaters and bonfires and hay and the leaves changing and the Christmas in the air and just fall. I love fall. Fall is my favorite holiday. October is my favorite month. I just, I, I love it. I always have. But this one, definitely smoky. Smoky and earthy are the best ways I can describe this one right now on cold. I am looking forward to that one definitely. And the last one I got in my favorite of the bunch, Scarecrow. I love this one so much for a couple of reasons. One, um, the Scarecrow was my favorite from Wizard of Oz. When I was little, I used to like the Cowardly Lion, the Cowardly Lion. But then as, a, as an adult, and you know, watching a movie as a child versus watching a movie as an adult, you pick up on different things, of course. And I love what the Scarecrow brings to the story. And even though you might not be able to see the detail of the face here, he's kind of a scary Scarecrow. But just being up here, this just reminds me of, of the Scarecrow in Wizard of Oz. Second, these notes grabbed me. Tobacco, oriental, bergamot, herbal, leather, and amber. I love leather. I love oriental. I love tobacco. So I had to grab this. This, it is giving me like a hayloft vibe. I grew up in, on a farm, basically. And my dad had horses as I was a child. And horses eat hay. And I remember the smell of the hay barn. And and if you watch my channel, you know, I talk about hay and I talk about just childhood memories that different scents, you know, make me think of, like like they do for all of us. But this one, it just, it, it's got, it's, I can smell the leather too. And I can smell the sweetness of the amber. And this is perfect. I love this. I mean, I know that Kringle is known for their sophisticated genius blends and I don't know how they did this, but it really, it smells like hay. It smells like a barn, a hay barn, a hay loft. It smells like leather. Like, you know, you would have the, the, like the leather hat or even the scarecrow in Wizard of Oz had the leather, the leather face. You know, he had the, the, the cordage around his neck, you know, the, how he was, how he was built. And this 
just makes me think of that and makes me smile. So I am going to get those guys going in October. That's my Kringle ones. Let's do Bath and Body Works and then we'll do Yankee last. So uh, the $12.95 candle sale started uh, yesterday, I think. Yesterday, Thursday, uh, no, wait a minute, Thursday, excuse me, sorry, Thursday. And I placed an online order and a buy and store pickup online, which I have the buy and store pickup online right here with me. And the online, I got the online exclusive only. I got Cider Lane. I picked up another pumpkin peanut brittle, which I bought two of already, but I love that scent. It's so damn good. And I bought a pumpkin bonfire because the store where I picked up didn't have it in stock. And I did an inventory the other day and I only have one and I really like that scent. So I got a backup and then I picked up cider lane. I think I said that, but then I took a chance and I got the, um, glass, you know, which on that Halloween cider lane, spooky cider lane with the skeleton lid. I hope it's not canceled out of my order, but hey, I tried. I got that one too, just because I love cider lane. And I know there's, it's, there's controversy this year with it doesn't smell like it's used to. It smells like celery and all, all of that stuff. I, I just, I love cider lane and, um, wicked apple came out last year. I actually have a candle in there and I have it in wallflowers and I have it in soap. And I thought that that smelled like cider lane to me, even though I can see where people are picking up celery from it. I personally don't get it, but of course, you know, maybe I will when I, if I decide to burn it, I only have one candle. So I'm a little, I'm a little has separation anxiety with, I only have one candle and using it, but I'm trying to, you know, break myself of that. So I, um, all of these candles I have had before, except for one, of course. First one, salted butterscotch. I said I was going to get a backup of this because this really is, this is a seasonless candle. It is so strong. It throws well. It's just like if you heat up some butterscotch to put on a sundae or, you know, make, put butterscotch in a cake or, or just even making caramel or, you know, you can do the, the little trick of having a, a can of Eagle brand milk and putting it in a slow cooker to make your own dolce de leche, that type of stuff. The notes of this are warm brown sugar, sweet cream, sea salt, and butter. This is fantastic. I love this. I love just the pretty white. I love the, I like these simple jars sometimes, you know, these, the, the marketing team that does the really pretty labels and that they're beautiful and, you know, no discount from there. But this, I, I just, I love the simplicity of this sometimes too. It just is simple as, is great sometimes. Next is a backup of pumpkin pecan waffles. Of course, I bought one of these earlier this season. And I have two, so I have four now. So I feel, I feel okay with melting this because, excuse me, burning this. Because I, I melt vendor wax most of the time and I've got away from my candles and I bought a candle crock earlier this year and I really want to get back into enjoying my candles. And I am, I'm lighting a candle every day. So I'm using my stash. So this one, of course, maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. This is fantastic. I love this. It's it's classic and I absolutely love this textured lid. I love the vibrancy of the orange wax. This is great. I love this. You can't go wrong with it. There's soap, there's body care, there's wallflowers, there's candles. They've got it all around. Next, I picked up a backup of leaves. Leaves is classic too. You know, these have been around forever. You know, both pumpkin pecan waffles and leaves. Leaves is crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. This, just, you know, simple white wax in here. I love this. This is, I, I like this all year too. This is really, really good. It's apple-y. It's got, it's got a little bit of eucalyptus to me, to my nose. It, it, and I know it might not be part of it, it in here, but it's, it's got a, a little bit of that, little bit of that, um, aromatic eucalyptus. And I, I, I love that. And, and I know some people don't like leaves, but this is such a, it's such a timeless scent. And I love the textured lid on this too. You can really, really see that on here. 
so, so, so good. And finally, I wasn't going to buy this one, but I decided to because I love both of these scents. I got the limited edition Sweater Weather uh, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And I thought, you know, before I, I mean, I ordered this online and, well, I ordered it online, picked up in store, so I didn't get to smell it. But I thought pretty much that it's going to be sweater weather heavy because sweater weather is such a strong scent that dominates everything it's in. And this one right now to me, of course, this was probably poured in July. Whatever day 199 is in the year is the day it was poured. So this one, it... I'm having a hard time picking up sweet cinnamon pumpkin because it is a cinnamony scent and I'm not getting any cinnamon in here. This is the juniper berries eucalyptus from the sweater weather. And of course the sweet cinnamon pumpkin is the cinnamon and clove and sugar. I think this, I'm going to let this cure a little bit more. And this is a color changing label. I'm not quite sure what changes on here, but I know it's color changing, but this one, I'm trying to smell the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. And I'm just not getting it. So maybe he needs a little bit more time. Um, next are my Yankees. Now, I ordered when they had the buy two, get two free last week. And I have a fourth one coming. Uh, I got two Halloween and two uh, bakery. And the one that was canceled was Witch's Brew. And I know Witch's Brew is so popular. I actually have it in vendor wax in a, in a, in wax form, but I wanted it in candle because I, I was told I need it. <laughs> and I haven't, I, I will say I'm used to the Yankee large jars with the one wick in it. And I have just been supremely disappointed in the performance over the last several years of it. And I and I bought Yankee last Christmas. I bought Home from the Holidays. I bought Christmas Eve. I bought Balsam and Cedar and uh, Cinnamon Spice and something else I can't, I can't remember. But four of them have went out in the garbage because they just do not have a throw at all. And I felt like I wasted my money. And I mean, I love, I love Christmas Eve. I love Home from the Holiday, Home for the Holidays. And I, I thought, man, I'm going to get to experience this again because I, I had melted them years ago and they just so disappointed me. So when I found out that Yankee is working, you know, to try to get their quality and their throwback because so many of us have complained over the years, I was told that the new signature jars, the signature line, um, is supposed to be better, supposed to perform well, and people are attesting to that. So I got Jack-O-Lantern, and I love this jar. I love how it's 360, and all the all the pumpkins go around here. I love this creamy, orange, harvesty color. And this smells fantastic. It's not just a pumpkin scent. And that's how my friend described it to me when she was telling me, you need this candle. It's so great. You know, it's just not a pumpkin. And she was right. And the notes of this one, there's a lot. <laughs> so stay with me. Black tea, pumpkin spice, hazelnut, cinnamon, ginger, carrot, clove, um, Cinnamon. Did I say that already? Excuse me. It's crammed in one little line here. Black tea, pumpkin spice, hazelnut, nutmeg, ginger, carrot, clove, cinnamon, vanilla, praline, and sandalwood. Holy moly. That's a lot. But I'm getting, when I smell this, I am getting the creaminess from the praline, believe it or not. The praline. I'm smelling a little bit of that aroma that tea has, like that nice, relaxing scent that tea has. I mean, I, I, it's hard to describe how tea smells to somebody. It has a little bit, a little itty bit of hazelnut. I'm smelling that through here. I get the sweetness of the carrot, and I get a little bit of the clove and the cinnamon. This is supposed to smell like 
carving a pumpkin, which I've never carved a pumpkin in my life, like I said earlier with Mr. Graveyard Knight. So I'm not really quite sure how carving a pumpkin is supposed to smell. I know how pumpkin puree smells, of course, because I've made many, 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 many pumpkin things over the years. But this, I'm really anxious for this one because if this can warm up and throw really well, this will be really nice any time of the year, frankly. I would use this. And I just, I love this modernized lid. I love the silver accents. These are just so cute. I love these little ghosts. My, my nail tech and I were talking yesterday at my appointment and ghosts and spider webs are going to be my nails next time. So... Halloween's coming. Spooky time's coming. I love it. Okay, I got um, Witch's Brew, but Witch's Brew is in the mail because it was canceled from this order. And I got the email and I, I was really disappointed. I, and I thought, man, that's one of the main reasons I made this order because I wanted to try Witch's Brew. I did. And I loved the jar. I loved the, you know, the, the, the hope that it's going to throw better. So I emailed customer service and I emailed them on Labor Day. So I didn't expect to hear anything. So the next morning I got an email and I, I mean, I had asked them if they would ship it from another warehouse because Witch's Brew was the only reason I made this order. And I would, I really want to have it. I mean, I, and I've, I have been disappointed in your products over the last few years. And I heard that you are having um, better quality products and I really want to experience that. So they were very, very generous and said, yes, we'll ship it from another warehouse, no problem. So it's coming this week. So I will say uh, customer service was excellent and email them if you have any questions, I would do it again too. Um, the next candle I got is cardamom nut muffin. Cardamom nut muffin and this this jar is so stinking cute too. Look at the little muffins with the detail of the little nuts on top and you have your cinnamon cloves. You have your your hazelnuts. I believe those are hazelnuts. You have your 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 spices sprinkled here. This this is this is great and I, it's cardamom heavy. You have to like cardamom to like this. Cardamom is a heavy heavy scent. So the notes of this one cardamom, cinnamon, sugared dough, creme brulee, chestnut, pumpkin, coconut, vanilla bean, and clove. Lots going on in here. But this one is pretty, pretty heavy on the cardamom. But the second thing I'm getting is chestnut. I love chestnut. It's so, so good. There is actually a Better Homes and Gardens. I think it's called, um, uh, uh, chestnuts and acorns or sugared chestnuts and acorns or something. It's a really good one. It's a really good chestnut and it's, it's, it's sultry. It's smooth. It's a nice fall scent. If you, if you like Walmart wax, give it a try. But this one, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty heavy on the spice right now. Like I said, and I'm getting the chestnut a little bit of pumpkin, but a little bit of clove too. Clove is there. That's that one. That is going to be a nice one. And then finally, I grabbed pumpkin banana scone. This one is my favorite of the Yankees right now. This one. Oh, it's so nice. It's so bakery. <laughs> this is cinnamon sugar, ginger snap apple, nutmeg, pumpkin, buttercream, and cashew milk. So good. I love it. I'm getting... I'm getting the ginger snap. I'm getting the creaminess of the cashew milk. And I'm getting a hint, a little baby hint of apple, definitely. Buttercream creaminess, a little bit of cinnamon sugar and nutmeg. This is fantastic. I could eat this. I want the recipe for this. And I like, I wish this went around all the way around the jar too, but I decided to get one of these new tumblers versus um, the, this, this form just because I wanted to change it up a little bit. But this is, this is so good. It is, I hope this, I hope this is a strong 
performer because this is such a good scent. So I'm pretty sure all three of these are still available on Yankee. And I haven't checked Bath & Body Works. I think, I'll, it, with the exception of the limited edition sweater one, I'm pretty sure these three are still available. But the Kringles are sold out, sold out as you know. So that's my candle haul recently. And um, I hopefully I'm not going to buy any more candles for a while because I need to use my stash. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a good weekend.